Hey everyone, welcome to our personal finance channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important aspects of building wealth, which is investing. Investing can seem intimidating at first, but it doesn't have to be. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, we're here to help you navigate the world of investing and make smart decisions that will help you achieve your financial goals. So what exactly is investing? Simply put, investing is the act of using your money to buy assets that you believe will increase in value over time. This can include stocks, bonds, real estate, and many other types of assets. Most One of the most important things to remember when investing is that it's a long-term game. You're not going to get rich overnight. But with patience and discipline, you can build a portfolio that will grow and generate wealth for you over time. There are many different ways to invest, but some of the most popular methods include number one is stocks. So stocks are shares of ownership in a company. When you buy stocks, you're essentially buying a piece of the company and hoping that its value will increase over time. The next one we have bonds. Bonds are debt securities issued by companies or governments. When you buy bonds, you're essentially loaning money to the issuer and receiving interest payments in return. Next one, real estate. It is investing. Real estate investing involves buying and managing properties in order to generate rental income and or capital gains. Then lastly, mutual funds. Mutual funds are investment vehicles that pull money from many investors and use it to buy a diversified portfolio of assets. So no matter what type of investment you choose, it's important to do your research and make informed decisions. Here are some tips to help you get started. First one, set clear goals. Before you start investing, take some time to think about what you want to achieve. Are you saving for retirement, a down payment on a house? Once you have a clear goal in mind, you can start building a portfolio that will help you get there. The next one, diversify your portfolio. As the old saying goes, don't put all your your eggs in one basket. Instead, spread your investments across different types of assets and industries to minimize your risk. Number three, Keep lo- keep costs low, so the fees and expenses associated with investing can eat into your returns over time. Look for a low-cost investment option such as index funds that can help you keep more of your money. So in conclusion, investing can be a powerful tool for building wealth and achieving your financial goals. With a little bit of knowledge and some discipline, anyone can become a successful investor. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips and advice. So yeah, if you found that robotic in some way, well, AI yung nag-generate ng script na yun, so I just read it. Well, yeah, it, it makes sense kasi yung, yung pool ng data na ginagamit nila is like anything, I believe anything that's posted publicly on the, on the internet, so... Lahat ng mga ginugugol nyo na sources, Wikipedia, whatever, they can they they also like uh, get 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 uh, data or information from Reddit. And may nabasa ako na article na Reddit is gonna charge like these big companies na nagaran and get develop ng AI. Hindi hindi pa ni like free lang ginagamit no yung yung information na nandun sa Reddit. But uh, I'm I'm not sure how that will work. But anyway. Going back to the topic at hand. So, sinabi ko lang sa ChatGPT to create a script for a personal finance YouTube called Peso Smart Page. And the main topic was introduction to investing. So, this is a good introduction in my opinion. And what we can add here lang is, of course, stocks. It's, it's a long game. And... Kung hindi ka naman mag-invest sa stocks, then you can try trading. Although trading is not really that good, especially for beginners. Kasi around 
less than 10% lang yung consistently naging profitable if you're a day trader. Well, yeah, essentially, yung kailangan nyo lang ma- ma- maintindihan is you're buying a piece of a business. And your main goal is to buy low and then potentially sell high in the future. But if the company is really good, you don't have to sell it because you're gonna you're gonna receive dividends from that company if they are profitable every single year. Then bonds, yeah, it's paper. So kung baga pinapautang mo yung government or yung yung business pagkabibili ka ng bonds and maraming options dito sa Philippines if you're gonna if you're interested in bonds and meron din mga short term paper and mga long term na paper then real estate this one it's kind of hard to enter this this asset realm or asset class especially if you're just starting out kasi medyo mataas yung capital requirement So, yung barrier to entry is medyo mataas, especially dun sa capital side. But, if you really want or fan ka talaga ng real estate, then you can go for REITs. So, Real Estate Investment Trust. So, it works like a stock. So, tinitrade siya sa mga, sa mga stock market like PSE and sa yung mga stock market sa ibang bansa. And then, lastly, you have mutual funds. I personally wouldn't recommend beginners to buy or invest in mutual funds kasi yung mga money manager nito mga mutual funds ito they will just eat up yung fees sila will just will just eat up dun sa inyong sa inyong gains and hindi naman every year nasa green sila so sometimes matatalo yung portfolio and of course even though talo yung portfolio they will still charge you yung fees sila So that's not really good. Mas okay pa na ikaw na lang mag-manage ng iyong capital. Especially kapag ka, sa maliit ka pa lang na capital mag-start. And yeah. Set clear goals. Like anything you do in life, you have to set some goals para ma-measure mo kung ano ba yung progress mo. Hindi pwedeng basta na. Then diversify your portfolio. This one, I wouldn't over diversify my portfolio especially if you're a beginner so you can just stick if you're going for stocks stick to three to five dividend paying stocks and care pretty much should go for example sa philippines check out the top five dividend paying stocks na member ng psei yung philippine stock exchange index and buy those stocks consistently every month or every quarter kung ano yung kaya ng budget ng capital nyo And of course, keep costs low. So, kapag ka, malimit ka mag-trade, syempre, mas, mas malimit ka rin ma-charge ng mga fees. Sa, sa trading naman sa Philippines, is not that high. But of course, you will still incur those fees. And pagka pala ikaw nag, nagbebenta and bumibili, then of course, mag-add up yun and mas tataas yung fees na binabayaran mo instead of like holding a dividend-paying stock for for a couple of years for for decades and then na reap mo yung benefits kasi hindi ka naman masyadong nagbabayad ng fees and then nakaka-receive ka ng dividends sa mga companies na yun every single year and of course additional bonus pa is kapag ka nag-appreciate yung kanilang stock prices so eventually sabi natin 10, 15, 20 years from now bibenta mo yun and it it might be double in price it might be quadruple or whatever or 10x So yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. End na natin. Sana may natutunan kayo. And if umabot kayo at the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Help me grow the channel by smashing the like button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell para wala kayo ma-miss out sa mga uploads ko every single week. You may also follow me sa mga social media platforms ko. I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, at I'm on PSPH. And then another way to support the channel is through the YouTube membership. You may click the link in the description sa baba to know more about it. Thanks again for watching and listening, everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next episode. Always remember, be peso smart.